Hi everyone, let's install SketchUp Pro on a PC. If you don't already have a SketchUp subscription, you can access it from the link in the top right hand corner of this video. When you're ready, scroll down just below the video you're watching at the moment and you should see a link to sketchupaustralia.com.au. Go ahead and click that or navigate there manually if you like. We need to go to Sign In, Trimble Account Management Portal. Go ahead and click there. We'll want to sign in with our Trimble ID and click Next. And then we'll need to enter our password. When you're ready, click Sign In. Now you may have multiple accounts associated with one email address. I'm going to open this Building Point Australia account. Looks like there's no products here. So I'm going to go to this drop down and go to this other account. And now I can see that my SketchUp Studio 30 day trial is here. Let's go to View Included Applications. And we can see that SketchUp Pro is one of the options of the applications we can download and install. Let's go ahead and click Download SketchUp Pro. Now you will be asked to sign in, but hopefully your credentials have been remembered and we'll want to download SketchUp Pro 2021 for Windows. Go ahead and click Download. With that download complete, you have to be very careful not to just launch the SketchUp Pro installer from here. We're going to want to open up the folder location. So click on that arrow and go Show in Folder. This will take you to your downloads location. Now before we conduct the installation, we do have to make sure that we're signed into Windows as a system administrator. If you're not, you're going to have to get help from your IT team. When you're ready, right click onto the SketchUp Pro installer. That'll open this menu and you're looking for Run as Administrator. This is really important. If you don't do this step, you may not install SketchUp properly. Go ahead and click Run as Administrator. Now you'll be asked, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Go ahead and click Yes. Choose the appropriate language. Click Next. It's generally advised to install SketchUp in the standard destination directory. Go ahead and click Install. OK, so we're ready to go. Let's press Finish. We don't really need the installer file anymore. So let's go ahead and delete it. Right click and delete. Before we launch SketchUp for the first time, I would recommend making sure your drivers are up to date and your video card has identified SketchUp appropriately. Let me show you what I mean. When checking my video card software, I can see that the drivers are up to date and I've identified Trimble SketchUp as a program that should be using the high performance NVIDIA processor as opposed to any integrated graphics processing unit that I have. When you're ready to launch SketchUp for the first time, there should be icons on your desktop, but if not, just look in your Windows Start menu. I'm going to double click on SketchUp Pro to launch SketchUp Pro. Go ahead and click in Sign In. You'll need to enter your Trimble ID information here again. And of course, your password. When you're ready, click Sign In. When you get back to the Welcome to SketchUp window, you should find that you're able to access templates or recent files. I'm going to open my favorite template. And there you have it, SketchUp's installed and ready to go. Now, if you have access to SketchUp Studio or you're on the SketchUp Studio trial, you may want to try out V-Ray for SketchUp or Scan Essentials which are both included with SketchUp Studio.